Um, shit. China high-end headphones. I know nothing about the brand except that they're from China and they're known for making earphones with lots and lots of drivers, crazy amounts of drivers. All right, what do we got? Airplane adapter, a 3.5 to 6.35 millimeter adapter. We got some few ear tips that are really small, far too small for me. And a clear plastic case, kind of like a petri ditch, like we're doing a science experiment up in here. Let's have a closer look. All right, that's it. Not much to look at as far as accessories go. We'll get rid of those, they're useless anyway. The grand opening, the grand reveal. Let's see. Oh, nice. So, actually, these uh, housings look a lot smaller than what I was expecting. They look bigger in the pictures. And when you think, is that 12 drivers? That's not 12 drivers. So, I've got for the left. A uh, sparkly glittery blue faceplate and on the right sparkly glittery purple one. Nice to see the color coded connectors there. Always love to see that. It's a pretty sweet looking cable. Might be a little bit stiff. Ooh, exciting. So these are beautiful, very nice. I hope that's in focus. I hope you can see that. That is one pretty looking. That's a really nice looking IEM. Very nice. Check that out. It's tasty AF. Useless ear tips. What do they think I'm from Pygmy Land? What is this? CTZ on the face plate. What is this? A two pin connector? Or is it? Yeah, it's two pin. Course. Put those there for a moment. Let's have a look at this lovely cable. Start off with the plug this time. It's a right angled, pretty chunky plug. 3.5 mil. Good, uh, good strain relief on there. It's, it's a bit lighter than it looks. It's not too heavy. Pretty chunky cable. Very nice. Feels good. Trying to think of another one similar. I know I've got one similar, but I can't can't remember which one right at the moment. Which one it is? Yeah, we've got a little wire split. It's got a chin slider, a cable cinch there, and here we are. The two pin connectors. Red for right and blue for left with the preformed ear guides there. This looks like a superb cable. This looks great. Beautiful cable. So, there they are. Uh, not much else for me to say at this point except that I'm going to go and listen to these for a few days. Very curious to know what the sound is like. And I will be back soon with a full report on the comfort and the sound. See you soon. All right, guys, I am back. 
and I have been listening to the CTZ6 for, whew, I don't know, a week and a half now. Longer than I intended to. Um, <clears throat> just because I got shit going on, as we all do. So, let's talk about this uh, CTZ6 for a bit. Starting with the build quality. The shells are a lot smaller than I expected. Um, they're the the shape and the size are very similar to the 10 Hertz P4 Pro. So if you've tried those before, you know exactly how these would fit in your ears. Great build. You can you can see you can see here the quality of the of the resin. There's there's no smearing. There are no bubbles inside. You can see the sound tubes. Um, both sides are symmetrical. So uh, the build quality is really top notch. Face plates. The nozzles have a really well defined uh, ridge on them. So they hold your ear tips in place really well. In terms of comfort, these things are really great. Um, I have no problem wearing these for hours at a time. Not a problem. The noise isolation is really good. There's no vents on the shelves anywhere. So you've got this solid chunk of resin in your ear. Not much noise gets in. Uh, likewise, there is practically no noise leak. So you don't have to worry about that at all. All right, so how is the sound? Uh, the overall sound signature, it's it's mostly neutral, and it's very balanced. Although uh, there is there is a little bit of a bump in the upper mid range. Uh, the clarity is good. I won't. I wouldn't say the clarity is exceptional, but it is very good. Uh, what is really outstanding about these though is the resolution and the, the instrument separation which is excellent really really good there's nothing in your face about the sound of the the ctz6 the note size is kind of small it, it never sounds emaciated it never sounds thin this sound signature won't suit everybody let me start by saying that if you're if you haven't had a lot of experience with different earphones, uh, if you're used to something with a, a nice big bass, this is going to sound unusual, very different to you. But if you've got a fair bit of experience with in-ear monitors, if you know your way around different sound signatures, these have got some good stuff on offer, definitely and I would certainly recommend checking them out. The bass is very neutral, but given the right recording, it can actually punch pretty hard. Because the mids and the, the treble are also neutral, the bass doesn't need to sort of be big. It, it can stand up. It doesn't, it's not battling for to be heard above the mid-range and the treble every everything sort of plays nicely together obviously with with the neutral bass tuning like this you don't get any mid bass bloat you don't get any bleed into the mid-range it's a very clean very fast bass it's very textured um, the sub bass has pretty good extension but it's not going to shake your teeth uh, it, it doesn't rumble. You can you can hear the notes, but you don't really feel the the sub bass notes. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I know it takes a while getting used to that sort of thing. The mid range on the CTZ6, like I said, it's free of any bass bloat. Uh, it's not lacking body. It's defined sort of by 
it's it's cleanliness it's a it's a clean and a sort of a pure sound but it's engaging and musical uh, although the transients are very fast it does have a natural decay and um, despite the very light quantity of the bass the overall tonality just sounds right um, which isn't easy to it's not an easy thing to do it's not an easy tuning to pull off successfully when you have a bass like that it, it often comes across as being anemic or being very thin or uh, in some cases it, it tends to be to make the overall tonality too bright but that doesn't happen here with this one so yeah good mids vocals sound great the the mid range is is honey smooth great articulation good tonality good timber all that stuff mid range is great treble mm, the treble has a sort of a, a a linear evenness to it it is it doesn't pop up and down it doesn't have any any nasty peaks it doesn't have it's not lacking anywhere um the lower treble is is crisp and articulate turn my screen back on try a different something with a bit more color looks a bit more interesting something like this maybe here's one for the chinese viewers uh the yeah the treble it sort of just has the right uh just the right note thickness just enough solidity uh, to sound good what I mean by solidity is picture the treble notes like a barcode and a solid treble note is, is like a straight line up and down if it's too straight like that just too solid it, it sort of sounds too dull and, and constricted but what the CTZ6 does is, is it kind of puts a, a little bit of a fuzzy edge on those solid notes, which, which widens the sound. It, it adds a bit of airiness. It adds a bit of lightness and, and liveliness to it. No sibilance anywhere at all. It's definitely no sibilance. There's, there's no stridency or harshness. It's a smooth treble, but it's, it's clear and crisp. It's, uh, it's detailed. I love the treble on this earphone. It's really good. For the sound stage, the, the sound stage is fairly intimate. And that is a little bit unusual when you consider the lightness of the bass because the two are usually closely related. The, the, amount, of the, the amount of mid bass and the sound stage or bass in general and the sound stage uh, generally play off e off of each other the bassier a headphone is the sort of more confined the sound stage gets and as you lighten up the bass it, it allows everything else to to spread out a bit uh, but in this case the sound stage still remains fairly intimate it's not uncomfortably cl uncomfortably close vocals are fairly close to you it's it's as though you're sitting fairly close to the front of the stage close to the artist now for the shape of the stage it's fairly well rounded um the width and the depth are fairly similar so you get this kind of a round stage um there is an above average sense of height in the sound instrument separation is very good the imaging is okay it's not great but it's not bad either it's about average and and that's about all i have to say uh like i said this won't suit everybody this this tuning but if you know your way around iems uh there's definitely some value to be had here i would be interested in hearing some of the other models from this manufacturer 
Um, for my personal preference, I would like a little bit more base, but that's just me. But even so, I still really enjoyed listening to these and I, I will keep using them going forward. So overall, um, yeah, it's a pretty good package. Um, the ear tips, the ear tips are rubbish. Unless you've got little pixie ears, you, you might be able to use them. Uh, the adapters, yeah, get rid of the adapters. Give us a proper case. Give us a proper carrying case or at least, um, you know, a really wide variety of, of ear tips with different sizes and things. Anyway, we're done here. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, boo-hoo, go and have a cry. Um, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Check uh, down in the description, I'll have links to the product and also a link to the written review which will be up in a day or two. That's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.